The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the April 8th, the magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. But if you've got a question and you can't call in, we've got you covered. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. We begin our day with a sea of green, at least with regard to the U.S. indices. They're all trading the upside. Dow's up 74, S&P 11, NASDAQ 144, Russell's up 12, Semi's 27, Trendy's up 78. Uh, you've got gold trading up three bucks, silver's up 30 cents, like sweet crude is off 76 pennies, natural gas up a nickel, uh, 30 year treasury print out at 116.13. Our leaders in the clubhouse to the upside, micro strategy, about $87, nearly 6%. Monolithic power systems, 29 bucks, nearly 5%. Destiny Tech 100 Inc. Don't know what it is, but it's up 37%. That's a $22 move. Coinbase is up 12 bucks. Asma Holdings is up 11. To the downside, it's super micro. SMCI up 26 bucks, nearly 3%. You got Perian Network down 8 bucks, 37%. Root Inc. down 8%, 7 bucks. Eli Lilly off 7. Dell Technologies down 5. We'll take a look at that. We've got a request to look at that. NVIDIA is off 5 bucks as well. So let's begin. Let's begin here. Let's begin with the daily equity future contracts. We touched on them slightly during the opening, uh, during the 11 o'clock update. If you take a look, you got the ES upper left, NQ upper right, Dow lower left. Russell 2000 lower right. Now, the Russell last week formed a new profile, formed it on Monday. Price has been consolidating within it. This profile formed above price. That is from a profile standpoint. That's a bullish signal. That doesn't mean price can't close below it and get a change in trend. It's just from a profile standpoint. It tells you the trend for its is to, for it is to the upside. If you take a look at the ES Mini, you can see you've got a new profile attempting to form a support at 52.19, recess is at 53.19. If you look at the NQ, support at 18.163, recess is 18.555. Now there's resistance above those levels because they have roadsman to mitigator tops at higher prices, 53.33, 50 for the ES and 18.709 for the NQ. The Dow's profile, bullish in structure, so that would tell us we would want to really watch the center line. The center is at 39,312. Price trade at 39,307 as we speak. A close above 39,312 increases the odds that price would make its way up to resistance. Resistance up at 39,909. It also has that Rosemont indicator top at the 40,358 level. And we just have a consolidation right now inside the Russell 2000. That's between a support area of 2081 and resists up at 2138. So that's how we begin our day. We do not have new profile levels. If we take a look at what's going on, just our normal market update here we do not have new profiles for silver or gold or really anything else in fact the 30-year treasury you can see it's a to b equals cd down pattern uh, that had the price projection of 116 
uh, 31. We got down to a low of 116.31. You got to love how that works out there. That doesn't mean it's a buy. It could be a buy. Stevie would suggest, especially because we're below profile levels, you would wait for a bullish reversal candle to confirm that pattern. Why? It was a 52% retracement. Odds favor, it increased the odds of doing more than a one-to-one. -one. When you do less than a 0.618 retracement, that next price projection level to the downside will be 115. But you need to be paying attention because you could end up getting a bullish chamber candle at day zen. I'm not saying you're going to. I said you could do that. If you take a look at natural gas, you can see the consolidation with inside its profile levels. That 1.879 is a key area of resistance. So let's flip over from these charts and let's go take a look at what's going on in Day. How do we know what's going on and what the markets are going to do from that point forward? Well, we're going to begin by taking a look at those 120-minute time frame charts. Why? Because that rally that we saw on Friday was a beautiful thing, and where it peaked out was a TD9 count top, both for the ES, the NQ, and the YM. I said both, and I just gave you three. Now, it's really smooth, Stevie. If you take a look at the ES Mini, it's TD9 count top. The uh, high of that pattern is at 52.72.50. It price closed about 52.72.50 for an hourly time frame. Right now, we're in a candle that completes at 12 noon, about 48 minutes from now. But a price close above that is then going to suggest a move to 52.96. Now, we can see that any moves lower have found support at the oscillator and change line. Yes, there's other profile support and breakout support out there. But right now, that 5240-ish area has held the support. That's that 120-minute oscillator and change line. If you look at the NQ, it also has a TD9 count top. The key level there to be watching is up at the um, 18, I'm sorry, the 18.408.25 level. Now, the profile that remains in place here is one that's been in place from since Friday. So there's other resistance levels. If you get above that, it negates that signal, but then takes us up into other battleground areas. 18.413, 18.465, 18.568 uh, out there. But you want to still watch the high of that pattern. If price closes above it, which suggests that we head higher. In the case of the Dow equity future contract, the Dow's got resistance. or Well, first it's trading in resistance right now, which is the top of its 120-minute profile at 39.322. So that's an important area to watch. But the more important area to watch to the upside would be 39. 369. If price closes above that, well, then there's no longer any resistance because price would be above profiles, unless a new one forms out there, obviously. But that would then suggest that it could or should run higher. And the Russell 2000 doesn't have that same pattern. I believe it's taken its P's and Q's from the ES, the NQ, and the Dow. So that's what you want to be watching intraday out there. Uh, to the downside, I'd watch those oscillator and change lines around 52.45 or so, 18.277, 39.144. We know those numbers will change. Uh, they are uh, as price moves up and down, but you can use those as guidelines. So I'd say that's what's going on inside of the uh, equity markets out there. If we take a quick peek here, we've got about 30 seconds. Let's go to even more intraday charts. I don't know if it's the ES or NQ that's popping up here, but likely one of them. It is the NQ. So from an even deeper intraday standpoint, like 10 minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, 60 minute, I don't have anything for you, to say the truth. As I take a look at all we've got to really consolidate. Well, prices now trade above on a 30 minute time frame for the NQ. Prices trade above resistance uh, and a second close above 18,341.50 would suggest higher price out there. That's the top of its bearish structured profile that formed about um, an hour and a half ago. Steve Rhodes with TFNM. We come back to this break. We're looking at CFLT, Amazon, Dell. We're going to look at SND. B-A-L, and Sharky wants to look at Canadian. I own the Canadian version of HBM. We'll see what we can do there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. 
But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Lots of great sports were on uh, television, so that was a wonderful thing. Lots of great sports to be played outdoors. Well, we're going to start our day off taking at Confluent, Inc. CFLT is the ticker symbol. This is for Duncan Steve inside the Tiger's Den. So what we know about it is that there was an A to B equals CD. But I'm just going to check off screen out here, Stevie. It's a little bit easier for me to go ahead and type this uh, pattern in. I just want to see if it has attained the one-to-one -one price projection level. It did. 28.44 was the one-to-one -one price projection level. The actual low back here on April 2nd was down at uh, 28.60. 20, 28.60 versus 28.44. For Stevie, that's good enough. And then what took place out here is you've got a Three River Morning Star pattern that formed on Friday. And so, um, or so actually, I take that back. It's trying to form as we speak right now today. So what you, uh, uh, it appears, at least at, as, as of 11.19 in the morning, Duncan, that uh, you're going to get a confirm by the D point pattern. I uh, actually got that con confirmation here. We got a bullish engulfing candle back on April the 3rd. So this has got to buy the D point pattern with price just consolidating with inside its profile. So your support area here on a daily time frame, 28.93. It's a slightly bearish structured zone. So you got resistance at 3056, above that right now at 3077, the oscillator and change line, and then finally 3154 and finally 3190. So you've got some battles up top, uh, but price should be willing to do that. I suggest that because on a weekly time frame, I don't have a, I take that back. There was a sell the D point pattern. That sell the D point pattern formed out here the week of March the 8th. And that has taken price successfully back to a test of support. And that test of support, I was down at 29.45, as well as uh, the oscillator and change line, which is just slightly above that uh, level. Uh, so the weekly says, yeah, they sought to uh, try to rally into those resistance levels on that daily time frame. The monthly's just got a consolidation with inside profiles there. So, Duncan, um, I, I hope that provided you with the information you were looking for. If not, let me know what you were looking for, and I'll be happy to try to find that. So that was on Confluent, Inc., 
should rally towards 3056, 3077, above that 3154 to 3190. Let's go take a look at Duncan's next request. He'd like to take a look at Amazon, A-M-Z-N, being the ticker symbol out there. Amazon negated or is in the process of negating its TD9 count top. It'll also go ahead and negate its Rosemontum indicator top. In order to do that, all that it really needs to do today is close above the high of April the 4th. The high of April the 4th was 185.10, we're at 186.62. So if this were the end of the day, its signals, its topping signals on its daily time frame, Duncan, will have gone away. They will have vanished. And that's really supported by what we see on the weekly time frame. The weekly time frame has no topping pattern. Now, there is an A to B equals CD to the upside. This is achieved more than the one-to-one -one level. But what that tells us is that what we really want to do is just be paying attention for a bearish reversal candle. So there's your one-to-one, -one, which was uh, completed right here from that TD9 count top. It also was a sell the D point pattern, but that was negated last week. So Amazon is suggesting wants to move up to its next level. I don't have that price projection here, but you can do the A to B equals CD uh, pattern out there. The point is all you need to really do is be paying attention for a bearish reversal candle, which would generate a sell the D point pattern. Now, if I've got the A to B equals CD pattern in the weekly, I certainly have that same pattern on the daily. So the first place to be paying attention would be on the daily for a bearish reversal candle for the potential of a top. The monthly chart out here looks very uh, bullish to uh, Stevie. Uh, so you got bullish on the uh, weekly, bullish on the monthly. And it looks like by day's end on Amazon, you will have bullish on the daily. So Duncan, Hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for. And, uh, yeah, it was quite a uh, quite a PGA Tour event, uh, uh, Dan, with uh, uh, going into overtime. And, and I had held off as long as I could. We had a function that we had to get to. And then when I finally got to that function, saw that he had uh, won. So it was uh, great. But uh, how about the uh, – what was the kid's name who had uh, eight out of nine? Uh, at least eight out of nine birdies on the backside, right? I think it was eight of nine holes he had birdied. That's pretty amazing. That's De yeah, Denny McCarthy. He's he's got some he's got some real potential. He had to feel bad for both those guys. They both needed the win in order to be able to get into the uh, Masters this coming weekend. In any event, uh, so I hope that helps you out, uh, Duncan. And let's go on to uh, John C. inside the Tigers Den. His request was to take a look at Dell. Dell trading lower this morning. Well, it's actually trading a bit higher from Friday. Uh, now. What it is doing is it looks like it may go ahead and trade below for two consecutive days, 78.89. That's after it formed a TD9 count top. Now, 78.89 was both the bottom and center of its daily profile. So that should have been a very strong support level. We saw that it failed on Friday. It turns out it appears that it's not a one-day wonder. And if that's the case, then the next downside price target, John, would be at 70.45. And 70.45 is the TD9 count breakout level for its daily time frame. On a weekly basis, what do we have at 7045? Well, at 7154, we've got the uh, center of its bullish structured weekly profile. So the buy zone, so to speak, is between 6303 and 7154. So those are the price. And we got 6790, you got the weekly oscillator and change line. So price is headed towards that price zone out there. On a monthly time frame, uh, price is back inside its profile. So that supports that idea. Oh, I'm looking at AAP. You want to cheese. How did I do that? Well, hey, here's AAP for whoever wanted that one. Uh, I don't know how Stevie did that, but he did do that. Let me see. Did I put Dell right here? No, I put HPM. That's really weird because I had typed that in. That is really weird, but that's okay. Weirder things have happened. So we got a, uh, John, you sure you don't want AAP? Uh, let's go take a look at Dell out here. It is trading lower. I thought that's what I saw on my original screen out there. So now what we can see is that uh, this has a Rosemontum indicator top. Formed that three days ago with that bearish shooting star candle. Now what happened on Friday was price pulled back and tested and rejected two levels of support. One was the top of its profile, which it closed above. The second was that green oscillator and change line. Its overall signal as we speak right now, John, I'd have to say is neutral. It's neutral until we see a close below that green oscillator and change on the daily time frame, which right now is at 126.07. You'd love to see this close above. Well, that's not so much a close above the top of the profile. You really, in order to negate that uh, Rosemont to Medicator top, you must see a close above 136.16. Now, turns out that on the weekly time frame chart, there's nothing bearish about it. 
in the gauges at TD nine count top many weeks ago, a couple of months ago. It has triggered a rosemontum indicator signal. If you were to see a bearish reversal candle, then yes, that would be a rosemontum indicator top. The weekly time frame, I don't see any kind of a topping pattern out here. So it looks like I'm weekly. The monthly time frame looks like it wants to continue to move higher. Let me just open up that monthly time frame chart, see if there's anything else out here. I can see an A to B equals CD pattern well beyond the one to one level. So a bearish reversal candle on a monthly time frame, John, would confirm a longer term sell the D point pattern. Um, so right now, the call is neutral on the daily. It's bullish on the uh, weekly out there. And I hope that provided you with the information that you were looking for. And you got a twofer. You got advanced auto parts. Now, Sharky would like to take a look at ticker symbol HBM. And we're going to do that when we get back from this break. We'll take a look at HBM, SND, and BAL. BAL. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Look great. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. 
Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Yeah, extraordinary, extraordinary uh, women's uh, sports uh, this weekend. You had, uh, you had Nellie Corda win four in a row on, on the LPGA Tour and playing that Shadow Creek course, which is just a, a gorgeous uh, golf course out in uh, Vegas. Uh, Wynn had originally uh, built that and went along with the sale or what have you at MGM. But then so you had, and then you had the uh, girl from um, uh, Lode, I think is her name, uh, from... Uh, that that uh, was the amateur and uh, took home the uh, Augusta, and she had to she birdied three of the last four holes out there. I mean, it was it was pretty amazing to see. Uh, you know, I don't know how old she is. She's a a sophomore, I believe. So what that would make her nineteen, maybe twenty, something like that out there, and birdying four of those last holes, and that those pins were not in in easy spots or anything. So that was pretty amazing, and and, and the girl that she beat. Um, you know, uh, was uh, she had uh, she shot 66, I think she was seven under or I mean, it was uh, extraordinary. Uh, and then you had what, Caitlin, right? Uh, how about the comeback on uh, on Friday night? Uh, it was Friday night's game. Yeah, it was that big comeback out there. Yeah, just extraordinary sport. So who's going to win tonight? Is it going to be UConn or is it going to be uh, Purdue? I my I had chosen Purdue to go all the way through. I thought it was going to be Purdue and University of North Carolina. I was wrong by that. And but watching UConn, I mean, what a freight train that is. So uh, uh, if I could change my pick right now, I would probably go for UConn out there. They just look to be so strong, so strong. But it should be a good game. Let's hope it's going to be a good game amongst uh, two big titans out there. In any event, enough of that. Sharky's saying, "Hey, Steve-O, would you finally get to HBM? HBM is a uh, what is this? So you mentioned it's a Canadian stock as well. Are you traded on the Canadian exchange? It's Hub Day Minerals out there. So what do we know about it? What we we do know about HBM is that uh, this formed a Rhodesman to Indicator Top Sharky back on April the 2nd. It did that when it generated that uh, bearish dark cloud cover candle. That pattern is being tested. By the way, the volume on that candle session on April the 4th was 2.5 million shares. The high, 752. So far, the high today, 753 and 997,000 shares. So this is about a 3 million share a day, give or take, going against 2.5 million. So I don't know what the volume will be at day's end. That's just did a quick multiplication out there not really the best but it's all that i can do at 11:33 in the morning so if it is trading to that swing point even if it closes below that swing high and that swing high out there is 752 price will then test that high again don't know what will bust it but sure if it does close above that it'll negate that rosemontum indicator top out there on a weekly time frame um I see an A to B equals CD pattern. This is beyond the one to one. If we were to see a bearish reversal candle on a weekly time frame, Sharky, that would generate a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, it looks like price wants to continue to move higher, which is also supported by the uh, monthly time frame charts out there. Now, there is uh, as far so where is price headed to? If we open up the monthly time frame chart out there. Um, what we can do is we can draw in a couple of trend lines out here. Um, but, the, you know, where are we going to start those trend lines at? I'd, I'd really be looking at just this latest cycle as, for example, would be one of them. Uh, you know, so you could take a look at this trend line. Where are we at with regard to that? Well, that's a beautiful thing. You know, it's busting through that. You could take a look another trend. So you can put some trend lines on there. But the point is, it looks to me like this wants to continue to move higher. Now, its next resistance zone on a monthly time frame, and this area has held as resistance is 813. So 813 looks to be like a key target. And price can close above that because it's been tested before. It was tested when it formed that TD9 count top back in February of 2021. You got back up here in February of 2022. Uh, now we're going to maybe try to get Get back up there in April of 2024. So watch that $8.13 cent mark out there. It looks to me like that's where price would want to go to as long as price can negate the daily roads meant to mitigate top. On a daily basis, by the way, the signal I would give it or the grade that I would give it would be neutral, even though it has a top. Neutral because right now price is above profile resistance and it's green oscillator and change line. So I hope that helps you out, Turkey, and thank you very much for your request. Next request is from Dan inside the Tiger's Den. Wants to take a look at S. N D. So let's take a look at SND. It's trading right now at $2.21 out there. This is Smart Sand Inc. out there. That's that's pretty cool. I like Smart Sand. Um, 
because I don't really think the alternative is really good. But if we take a look at what else is it doing out here, Smart Sand closed above a swing point that was formed on February 27th. That swing point had volume of 173,000 shares, passed with a wide-ranging bar and much more volume, 480. So there is a daily A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So to really take a look at what that price projection is, we just had to open up the screen. We'll draw in the A to B line out there. We'll move this over to the C point just to kind of get a feel for where we're at in this process. Come on, let me grab it. There we go. So here is the uh, B to C, the C to D level. We're on the left-hand side of that with the wide-ranging bar. You can see we're up already to the one-to-one -one level. This just says, Dano, on a daily time frame, what you want to do is you want to watch for a bearish reversal candle. If you get that, then what you're doing is you're forming a sell the D point pattern. Short of that, price should continue to move higher. In the case of the weekly time frame, that same swing point basically, which had volume on March the 1st of 672,000, was passed with 981,000. So really the same kind of signal out there, more difficult to generate a bearish um, weekly reversal candle, but it looks like it wants to go target its most recent swing point on a weekly basis, September 22nd out there of 2023, and that's in the range of 230, uh, 229, so you're already into it, and the highs at 248. Volume was a million shares back then on a weekly basis. Last week, this did volume of 981,000, so a similar volume as prices moving up into that swing area. Not much else for me to see here for you. Uh, Dan, at least nothing that really sticks out to me. So I hope that helped you out with regard to uh, smart sand out there in that A to B equals CD pattern daily time frame to the upside. Uh, G-Man would like to take like, a ticker symbol VAL. So let's get that up on our screen out here. And uh, VAL trading in between its profiles on a daily basis at 72.64. This is Valeris Limited. Uh, the profile support is at 69.88. And profile resistance, which was tested and rejected this morning, is up at 74.47. What else do we have out here when we take a look at VAL? Well, I see a potential wave number seven top. Let me open this up. Just make sure. Yes, most certainly. So you got wave number seven. That was a topping pattern that's out there. I also see an A to B equals CD pattern. That would have been confirmed on that same day that confirmed the wave number seven. That was on April the 4th. It's a daily time frame, and it consolidates with inside his profile. If it can't take out the top of that profile, watch the bottom of the profile down at the 69.98 level. Won't know if we're going to get down there unless we see a close below 71.92. On the weekly time frame, what do we see out here? We just see a new profile that's uh, forming this week. So your new weekly resistance area is going to be up at the 75.59 level. The uh, bottom of the profile, wow, it's a gigantic profile, is all the way down at 63.61. Now, G-Man, notice how this profile, the high is below the prior profile's high. The weekly bottom is also below, the current one is below the prior one. This is telling us this may be getting ready to truly move lower out there. And you got a monthly Rosemont Dominicator top with a consolidation with inside of profiles. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, 
charts and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. That's weird. Uh, welcome back, uh, folks. I was just trying to uh, to modify a chart out here. Uh, template load. Let me see if I can find the right template. And then it came back with a weird message. I'm going to try it one more time. Oh, that's why. Oh. Okay, Stevie, you should have a solution here. And I don't see it. Oh, yeah. oh there we go. Okay, I knew I would have something on there. Okay, so I had said, so we were taking a look at the profile levels. We talked about profile levels earlier this morning when we were looking at the ES, the NQ, and the YM, each forming new profiles above price out there, and what is its message to us. In the case here of uh, VAL, it was this weekly chart. That uh, So there's a new profile that's attempting to form this week. And see how the high is lower than the high. I'm not so worried about the center of the profile and the bottom is below that. The first thing I took notice, if the high was above the prior higher, what this would be telling, what I would have shared with G-Man, is to expect anticipated consolidation because that was its message out there. Um, and maybe that still is the case. Um, well, it certainly is the case of the last profile, so take a look at that. Voila, there you go. See how here... Um, this profile that formed in a weekly base we're talking about back in November 10th, that uh, superseded the prior profile, and this one formed in between the prior profile. And that suggests prepare for a consolidation. And in fact, that's what it did. It looked like we were going to have a breakout of the consolidation back in the week of February 2nd. But you and I, we know you got to wait at least two candles to confirm that message. And boom, you got right back inside there. So that's been a consolidation going on. But right now, it's just giving you a little bit of a shift that this may want to turn to the downside out there. And I was trying to answer the question uh, that would be logical. Well, how are we going to know? You know, like, why did I just leave a G Man hanging out there as we went into the break there saying it looks like it's going to head lower? So, ways to know that would be to take a look at intraday charts out there, which is what I was trying to get up on my screen. And here, uh, uh, it's not doing exactly what I wanted. Let's change this indicator so that it puts up all, I think it just has right now maybe three or four. Yeah, it's got four of the lines. Let's just get it so it gives us all of the lines. And these lines I'm referring to are the support and resistance areas. So uh, the 30 minute time frame isn't really provide us with with what I was looking for. I was looking for on pullbacks out here. Where has price been able to find support? So the 30 minute chart is not it. Now, from an intraday standpoint, I use I use a 30 minute. I use a 65 minute. I use a 130 and 195 below that, you know, 30, go to 15, 10, 5, whatever you want. But here is the 65 minute time frame chart. And what we can see here, at least, G man, is that on the move higher, and I can put more data in here. Let's, uh, what do we have, about 60 days? Let's put in 150 days worth of data out here. It shouldn't take too long to populate. Okay, so on the way up, so this is helpful. On the way up, this is coming off of the low. It's not a 30-minute, a 65-minute chart. It takes it back to February. 
So since February 5th out here, these TD9 count breakout support areas on any pullbacks have acted as support. And that's really what I was looking for. If there's really going to be a change in trend on a larger time frame, well, certainly we're going to see it on a shorter term time frame first. So what I would say here, G-Man, is you've got to watch the 65-minute TD9 count breakout level. And that's at 71.52. Now, below that is 70.65. That's another level that was tested and rejected. So I would say that if you break both of those, then at least the 60-minute time frame chart is telling you about a potential change in trend signal out there. And then you can look at it for the larger time frames. For example, if we went to the 130-minute chart, I'm pretty sure that nothing has been busted through here. We had a one one hit wonder with one close below that back at 1140 on uh, the trade day of March the 26th, and then boom, you were right back above that area. So that's one way, and that's a way for me to not just leave you hanging out there. So we gave that 65-minute area to watch. That's what I'll be watching to the downside. Of course, you've got the daily and the weekly information as well out there. So um, yeah, I took a little extra time on that. I didn't want to leave them hanging, but also because I don't have any other requests out here. Somebody's going to check by email and I'm apparently putting everybody to sleep. Uh, so I, I will apologize for that. So let's go look at something else. What do we want to look at? Let's go take a look at, uh, can you look at wheat futures? Absolutely. So let's see here. Wheat futures, give me a second. I think we've got a kind of a stair step to the upside inside of uh, wheat futures, as my recollection. So let's pull those up. Let's do that on the, uh, the promise. Let's see what pulls up here. I probably have to go to the actual intraday more intraday type time frames out here but we were in the ma contract if i'm not mistaken out there so let's put that up on our screen out here and let's take a look at uh, wheat futures uh, g-man if you trade a different futures contract let me know what that is we'll take a look at it so here on the daily time frame bottom left out here you can see the roads mintum indicator bottom that uh, confirmed back on march the 18th looks like i also had a wave seven bottom that confirmed on the trading day of march the 12th so you got two bottoms a little bit, okay. And price is now above uh, the uh, top of its profile on a daily time frame. So that suggests a further rally. Well, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we have a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom. So the next resistance level that you're going to deal with out here, uh, G-Man, is going to be the top of that weekly profile resistance. And this is a zone. This is a sell zone between 561.50 and 580.50. But the daily is suggesting to you and I that price wants to make a move up into that sell zone. With regard to the monthly time frame out here, you had a bullish hammer candle that formed last month. So there's really good signs out here. If you're asking Stevie the question, hey, Stevie, on wheat, does it look like there's a pretty solid bottom in? The answer to that would have to be an absolute positive yes, at least for that May contract. Monthly, uh, buy the D point pattern out there, a weekly roads momentum indicator bottom with 580.50 being the target, and a daily uh, roads momentum indicator bottom with price being over our resistance area. So I hope that helps you out, G Man, with regard to the uh, 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 May contract for wheat. And thank you for your request. That was your question. Okay, perfect. Yeah. No, it's definitely you got this uh, move to the upside. Watch what happens when you get towards that 580, uh, 50 level out there. Uh, Mr. Bill would like to take a look at the uh, socks out here. So to do that, let's do this here because uh, we don't really need any profile level. So let's try this here. I don't know what's going to populate. We're going to find out here momentarily. I think that it is a semi. So yeah, we may be in luck here. Uh, we are not. It's New York Stock Exchange, the uh, uh, 100 international stock so this is not going to take here because that's using a different data feed let me see if i can kind of interrupt this yeah 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 i hear you i hear you i hear you. it's picking up stuff as of friday i believe so let me try to uh, get the uh, semis up here sox there we go and uh okay so we take a look at the semis what do we know here we know that we've got a td9 count top on the weekly time frame and that weekly time frame shows that last week, price closed below the oscillator and change line. And this week so far, the rally has run right up into resistance at that point. That point is about 48.70. So if price remains below 48.70, what we can see here is this has so far turned into nothing more than a sideways move out here. So I would say it would be sideways to lower would be the message from the weekly time frame. What's the message of the daily time frame? 
Well, on the daily time frame, price still has not tested its swing point. That's a swing point from down here from March the 19th. That swing point didn't really generate anything. It's possible that it's the B point of an A to B equals CD to the downside, with the C point being the one that's labeled B right up here as part of the Chapman Wave tools out there. So I don't have a really great clear. I do have a sell the D point pattern on the daily time frame, that's for sure. But the monthly is being kind of stubborn and says, I don't know why you think the semis want to head lower. Longer term, looks like it wants higher. That confirmation of that would be negated in the TD9 count. Therefore, you need to close above 52.1783 for that to unfold. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome uh, back, folks. Let's take a look at uh, two more requests out here. The first one is SBSW. SBSW is uh, trading right into some resistance areas, Dan. So if you take a look at the monthly chart, it's the oscillator and change line. It's actually printed at 535, so we're above it, you know, by 11 pennies as we speak right now. The weekly chart shows you the top of the profile, resistance at 555. The actual high so far of the day has been about 555. It was 556, to be exact. And even if you get above those levels, the daily shows you resist at 565. And then if we take a look just left of that TD9 count breakdown area, you got the TD9 count top. That TD9 count top is at 582. So I would say 
Just like tonight's game, there are some battles underway in SBSW. And I would also suggest that if you can clear, you've got to really clear the TD9 count top from the daily time frame. But if this clears 582, you're on your way to 753. And above 753, you're on your way to 1108. So you've just got some battles that are going on inside of uh, Cybane Stillwater. And I think that's something that uh, Brent also trades out there. So uh, thanks for the request. Duncan Steve wanted to finish off the show. Take a look at Fortinet. FTNT is the ticker symbol. Now, in the case of Fortinet, what do we have out here? We've got price that is testing potential support today, which is the top of its uh, daily profile. The top of the daily profile is 68.57. If price closes below that, we're back inside there. You could easily see a move back to 67.86 or 67.16. I just see a sideways-ish type consolidation, but the problem with that consolidation is this day right here kind of screwed that up a little bit, February 21st. So let's go to our monthly, our weekly chart. Weekly chart shows a definite consolidation. It has clear resistance, the top of its profile, 70.52. It also has clear support, the center of its weekly profile, and that's at 67.12. Whichever side breaks, 67.12 or 70.52, may be telling you what direction this thing wants to head. And the monthly chart, Price is just sitting right on its oscillator and change line as we speak right now. So it's kind of agnostic with regard to what it's communicating to you and I. So we got through all those requests. Thanks so much, as always, folks. Please stay tuned for all the great programming. I'll be back with you at 3.15 for a uh, quick little update with uh, Tom. Have a magnificent Monday. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.